Let's turn our attention now to women's rights matters. Female genital mutilation, which is a form of gender-based violence, is deeply rooted in traditional understanding of purity and chastity, but the act causes irreparable pain and health problems to women and girls. To stop the menace, considered to be a violation of the rights of females, activists in Lagos, Nigeria, embarked on an area sensitization campaign. We have a report. Female genital mutilation involves the partial or total removal of the external female genitals for non-medical reasons. The health risks associated with FGM include uncontrollable bleeding, urination problems, infection, painful sexual intercourse, high-risk pregnancy for mother and child, as well as fertility and mental issues on the survivor. According to the United Nations, 200 million women and girls are caught every year. And in Nigeria, 20 million females have undergone the procedure. This makes Nigeria the country with the third highest cases in the world. The UN and its partners are here at Ashubo community in Bariga, asking residents to stop the dangerous practice. So as advanced and privileged as Lagos is in many areas, there are also huge areas of Lagos where there is not a lot of awareness and where we do know the prevalence is very high. So that is why we are in Lagos. We must not forget that we also, in, in a time of my global migration, we also have migration from rural areas to urban areas. And very often we forget that represents other challenges that we need to, to figure out how we work with the communities as they come into here. Under the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act of 2015, perpetrators are liable to a four-year jail term or a 200,000 naira fine. Something wrong that she has to deal with. There's really no health benefit. And the practice uh, is carried on because of a traditional belief that it helps with chastity and purity in women and girls, which of course isn't true. And the more community members recognize that there's no, aware there's no need for this, there's more awareness amongst them that there's no need for this, the, the practice is likely uh, to come down and not be practiced anymore. So that's why we're here in Ashoko Market to mobilize the community members who are practicing it, to let them know there's no benefit at all. And actually there are laws in the country prohibiting women being caught. The Lagos State government says measures are in place to punish offenders and support survivors so as to eradicate the menace. Kemi Oladiemo, TBC News, Lagos.